Um, he meant it more in terms of that he's worried and concerned by where the Russian people are being taken. That's uh, what uh, by the by the current uh, by the current behavior of uh, of Russian authorities. Um, you know very well that uh, one of the principles of our policy with Russia, how to deal with Russia under current circumstances, is to increase our engagement with civil society. And that's why the high representative during his trip to Moscow had also a number of meetings with representatives of civil society, NGOs, um, academic sector, uh, with exactly with people who we want to support and, um, and uh, engage with, despite the fact that they are facing more and more restrictions in the society. On the Cuban issue, maybe I, let me just um, set something straight. I mean, the HR was asked about, uh, about the um, EU-Cuba Joint Council, which he was chairing, and um, he was, and also this, um, this last minute decision by the outgoing Trump administration to designate Cuba as a state sponsor of terrorism. And uh, he, he conveyed EU position on this. The EU position is not new. I mean, uh, we shared it uh, days before with number of media, immediately after the U.S. and the outgoing U.S. administration uh, put Cuba on this list. So it was not secret, it, it was not nothing new what uh, HRVP said. And uh, this is uh, EU's position on the matter doesn't change, uh, no matter whether we are in Brussels, in, in Moscow, in Havana or in Washington, it's still the same. And by the way, it was also contained, this position was also contained in the final press release after this uh, EU-Cuba Joint Council. On um, the case of Latvian journalists, I think this is more for, the, for, for my colleagues dealing with uh, uh, justice affairs, but uh, HRVP was very also clear in responding to the case saying, we have a functioning and independent rule of law system in the European Union with independent judiciary. So whatever problems there are, they are being addressed through the system and people can have guarantee and rights that it will be addressed in an uh, independent, impartial way, taking into account and respecting their rights and not to prosecute people for their political convictions and not to try assassinate people for their political engagement. Merci.